Friday floss tube. Hello, crafty friends. Cheers. It's Friday. My name is Caroline. Welcome back. It is Friday, July the 7th, 2023. And July 7th means that it is my birthday. Hooray. I love birthdays. I love birthdays. I've been excited about this um, for a little while because I knew I was going to be up here and uh, I've got a nice dinner planned that John is going to barbecue for us this evening. So I love birthdays. I've just turned 49. So one year to go until milestone birthday, but um, I never mind getting another year older. It's not something that has ever really bothered me. Um, so yay, happy birthday to me. <laughs> I got to celebrate with a really good coffee. Uh, the sun is back out, the sun is shining. We had, we really needed the rain. So it was great yesterday that we had a nice day of um, rain that really kind of soaked in. And I know many of you have heard about the, the devastating fires, wildfires across Canada. So being that we are out here um, without, you know, services close by, um, if, if, we were to have a fire spark out here on the island it would be very challenging uh, for us so um yeah anyways uh thoughts to all of those who have been impacted by the wildfires across canada it's been it's been a terrible terrible season and of course not just canada elsewhere in the world um yeah so today's the day that we pull the winner for the holiday countdown box i haven't done it yet um, i'm going to do it uh, in a few minutes. I wanted to show you what I've been stitching because I really, I was going to switch projects. I was, I've been working on the, uh, Leela Studios Nevermore, uh, my own floss conversion for it. And I was, I, I had told you I was going to switch over to, um, the friendship sampler, but then I sort of had it I was working away at a specific spot and I'll turn it around. I'll turn the camera and I'll show you what I'm talking about. And I just had to finish it. I had to finish. I had to get to a certain spot and I had, I knew I had the six hour timer, um, still for nevermore. So I wanted to complete that. And then now I'm finally ready to make the switch over to the next project. And, um, yeah, so let me, let me turn the camera around and then I can show you up close and personal my stitching. And then after that, We'll, we'll pull the countdown box. The fact that it's very blurry. I'm having some other problems with this camera. I know I can, I think it's blurry. I can't, I just can't see you well enough. Uh, these glasses are not good. They're not good for this particular type of work and my other task glasses I've left at home. So I don't know how much of this is in focus or not. <laughs> Please forgive me. Uh, so yeah, let's turn the camera around. That I should be able to tell that you can see it. Okay. So let me tell you, I covered it up so that it could be a surprise because I have spent the last two days obsessed with stitching this piece. I love it. So this is the Leela's Studio Nevermore. And those of you who have seen my start already, you know that I completely changed out the floss colors. I did an entire Roxy Floss Co conversion to uh, colors that I wanted to stitch it in. Um, I think the original is beautiful. It's just, um, these colors spoke to me more. And are you ready? Ta-da! Look it. Look at how much I did. Look at how much I stitched. I am so pleased with myself. I can't even tell you. Let me just take off my glasses, make sure that's... Okay, so I completely finished the, um, this band work in here. That is done. I completed this uh, banner border here, that's done. And then I completed the rest of these leaves that needed finishing. So this bottom section is now completely finished. So I'll tell you a little bit about my flosses because these are, um, I'm not really following Leela's uh, symbols. I'm kind of placing the color where I want it. And if you've purchased this conversion from me from the shop, I did talk about where I plan on putting the colors, uh, in a video that I did last October, but basically in a nutshell, uh, this is, 
that bottom border was Plum Shadow, which is that floss there, Plum Shadow. This border here, which is going to be mirrored up here, is a floss called Wednesday. Now, Wednesday is a hand-painted floss, and of course, each, each hank turns out a little differently, so so for Wednesday, I have old dye lot and new dye lot. The old dye lot is on the right, new dye lot is on the left. Slight variation there, more of the um, darker color came out a little bit. So there, there's some differences there. However, uh, it doesn't bother me one bit because the way that this works, I'll easily be able to blend in both both dye lots in there. So that's Wednesday in there and I'm alternating Haystack, Annie, and Charlie Brown is the brown in there. There's Plum Shadow, there's my Wednesday. My uh, black is a is a black that has a purple undertone. It's called Vampish. And again, I'm mixing I'm mixing two dye lots of Vampish. Though I am going to make sure that my crow is one of them. So one of them had more of the purple come through. So I'm gonna use the slightly lighter one for my crow because I have a little bit more of it and I wanna make sure that it's all the same dye lot for the bird. Because I'm stitching this on a 40 count dirty porcelain. I think you can see some of the, some of the modeling in there. It's getting the sun is washing it out a bit, but I think you can see it there a bit. And of course, it's one strand of floss over two. So if I were having to mix two dye lots together, there's a couple of ways you can handle that. If you only have enough floss to finish it, and you have to mix the two, you can do the bottom leg with one of the dye lots and do the top leg with the other dye lot. Um, of course, if you're doing two over two, you can mix one strand of old dye lot with one strand of new dye lot. That's a great way to mix them in together. But that's just the nature of the beast when it comes with hand dyed floss. Um, each batch is a little bit unique, a little bit different, and that can be a thing of beauty. So those are my colors. And I am just absolutely thrilled with how that is looking. Honestly, it's so good. I just love it. All right, let's pull the winner for the holiday countdown box. So I've, I've drawn the name for the 2023 holiday countdown box. Are you ready? Cause I had a lot of people wanting, hoping to win this. So I'm very excited to announce that the winner is Melody Anderson. Congratulations, Melody. You are the lucky winner of the 2023 holiday countdown box. And um, we still have lots in the shop. Um, just today, uh, we've started packing the daily envelopes that need to go into all of those boxes. So we're just starting the process now of, of gathering together all of the supplies that we've been busily getting ready over the last few months. And now we are starting the the long process of packaging it all for you. So we're getting excited. So that's it for me today. Um, I just wanted to mention, um, I had somebody ask me the other day about the table runner that I showed when I was putting together my lap frame. Somebody was asking me about the table runner that's on our dining room table in here. And I mentioned that there was a bit of a story behind it. So I actually went back and I found the video that I did five years ago up here at the cottage where I told you the whole, I tell you the whole story about that bell pull. It's a pretty interesting story. It involves some jury duty and things like that. So I'm going to put a link in the drop down box below to that video that I did five years ago. And actually digging that video out makes me think that maybe I want to cut my hair a little bit because I actually really like the length of my hair in that video. So anyways, um, my family is back. They went to town this morning and they picked up groceries and a whole bunch of stuff at the hardware store. John's got some more um, chores that he's been working on around the cottage. So I will say goodbye and I'll see you tomorrow. So take care everybody.
happy stitching and congratulations again to Melody Anderson.